like Harry Potter theme song. It's like do 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 do. I hope that's right, and you guys don't hate me because I don't know it. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with part two of Jay reads Harry Potter. I finished Harry Potter like two days ago. Literally five minutes after I finished, I ran to the thrift store and I was like needing to find the rest of the books because I didn't own them. And I only was able to find the second, third, and fourth books. So I don't have the fifth and sixth. And I also found the seventh book. I went to three different thrift stores to find them because that's how desperate I was. So today we are starting The Chamber of Secrets, which is Harry Potter number two. Which everybody probably knows that, so I don't really know why I told you. But I'm so excited to start it. I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to come along with my first time reading it. And you all said 100% yes. So that is today's video and I'm going to go read and I will come back with an update when I am ready Okay, I'm back. So So excited because I had no idea that Dobby was in this book I honestly thought Dobby was like in like the fifth book like super far away from now But we just met Dobby and I'm so excited. He's so cute. I love him in the movies. Like, honestly, don't remember most of the movies or the plot line of any of it. So this really is my first experience reading Harry Potter and, like, experiencing the world again because literally don't remember anything. One thing about Dobby, though, that I'm kind of confused about is the fact that he keeps, like, slamming his head on everything. Would he not be, like, super concussed? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, I hit my head once and I'm concussed. So, like, I feel like if you're constantly slamming your head against things, you would most likely, you know, be very concussed but you know maybe it's just me I don't know maybe I just don't have a very hard head I'm starting chapter three right now Ron and his brothers just showed up in the car so I'm gonna go read some more and I will be back with another another update soon basically just started chapter three right now and Ron comes with Fred and George and they're like helping Harry escape from the like locked room right so what I don't understand is why Uncle Vernon is like trying to keep him there if he doesn't like Harry why would he not just be like okay bye like when he finds out that he's escaping or and he's like holding on to his ankle it's it's confusing to me like if I hated somebody I'd be like yes please leave get out of my life like I don't understand the logic right now am I is it just me do I am I the only one who doesn't see that this is weird just finished chapter six one I think it's hilarious that I said that it would be funny if Harry slammed into the wall trying to get to a platform nine and three quarters and then that's exactly what happened like clearly i just know my harry potter even though i didn't remember that i just am a mean person and thought it would be funny who i don't like this lockhart guy i don't remember who he is from the movies or anything but he just he bothers me so much i feel like he's obviously like the bad guy of this book i'm assuming but just everything about him, I want to punch him in the face. Every time he talks, I'm just like, shut up. And every time he's like, I was the uh, five time winner of the Best Smile Award, I'm like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> so that's my update so far. I hate Lockhart. So I just finished chapter eight and I'm really upset because Miss Norris got hung from the ceiling and I just don't want to think about a cat being hung from the ceiling. And now the Chamber of Secrets is open, apparently, and everybody needs to beware that it's open. But, like, all I can think about is the hanging cat and how Draco was way too excited about it, and I'm really, like, not okay with it. And so I don't want to read anymore <laughs> because I'm sad. Mm. The Chamber of Secrets is now open, and apparently the person who's able to open it is the descendant of Slytherin. And this is probably so far-fetched, but I don't really care. This is my, like, guess, which is definitely gonna be wrong. But I'm saying that it's Colin. It's totally Colin. Because, like, I don't know why. I just don't think it's Malfoy. I know that's who you're supposed to think it is, but I just don't think it is. I think it's somebody who's, like, gonna be totally random. Oh, <gasps> maybe it's Lockhart. Ooh, that could be it. Okay, that's my guess. Lockhart or Colin? That's the descendant of Slytherin. Okay, so I totally take back my guess of it being Colin because he's now frozen because he was petrified so um never mind to that one and I'm going with Lockhart okay so I'm at the part where Harry just talked to the snake so everybody knows he's like a parcel mouth now right so does that mean that Harry is the descendant of Slytherin because Harry was technically supposed to be sorted into the Slytherin house but then he was like please no so then the sorting hat was like okay you can be a Gryffindor so like is Harry the great, 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 great grandson of Slytherin, or am I, like, wrong again? Because I'm just confused now. 
because I thought it was Lockhart, but like honestly Lockhart is like a piece of shit. He's so stupid and he just bothers me so much. Like he obviously has a role in this somehow, but like what is it? He's so stupid. Ugh. So Hermione just got turned into a cat and personally, I don't know why she's complaining so much because if I was turned into a cat, I would be like the happiest girl in the entire world. So again, I don't like Hermione. She's annoying. She gets to be a cat, so I'm pissed about it. Okay, so I'm really confused now. Hagrid is the one that opened the Chamber of Secrets, so he's a descendant of Slytherin, or does that have nothing to do with it and it's just the great, 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 great grandson of Slytherin can unlock it? Because I thought Hagrid was like a Hufflepuff or Gryffindor. Do we get told what house he's in? I don't remember, but like, I'm confused. And also, I am so unimpressed with Tom Riddle coming for my little baby angel unicorn that is Hagrid. Like, how dare he? So unimpressed with him, but I'm confused and I need to go read and figure out what the heck is happening right now. Tom Riddle's diary just got stolen from Harry's trunk. I am guessing that the person who stole it was Percy. Because he is being super suspicious all book and just for some reason I am not trusting him today. Probably wrong, but we're gonna keep reading and see. But I'm voting Percy. So I know, like, I'm technically not supposed to be happy about this because, like, oh no, this is so bad. But, like, Hermione just got petrified and I am so happy about it because she is so dang annoying. Uh, so, like, thank the Lord she's not going to be in a couple of scenes because every scene she's in, I'm just like, your breathing infuriates me. So, like, thank you, JK Rowling, for petrifying Hermione Granger. I appreciate you. Okay. They did not just come for my baby angel unicorn Hagrid. I cannot believe they're taking him to jail, like excuse me? Also, like how dare they take Dumbledore away? Like are they stupid? Like some something's gonna happen. We all know something's gonna happen. What the heck you guys? So Aragog is a giant spider. That's like something out of my nightmares. I'm not okay with that. And the fact that Hagrid is not the person who opened the Chamber of Secrets. I'm just so lost right now. Like, who the heck opened the Chamber of Secrets? I, I'm so confused. So confused. And then the whole thing with Moaning Myrtle being, like, the girl who died. I thought she committed suicide. So, apparently not anymore and she was attacked. So, I'm so confused. So confused. But, we're gonna keep reading. And then hopefully everything will make sense to me soon. Oh my god, so many things just happened. Okay, one, Ginny Weasley is the one who opened the Chamber of Secrets. Like, I'm sorry, what? I was not expecting that. I, she was, like, not even in my radar at all this whole book, and then what? Two, Tom Riddle is Voldemort? What? <sighs> you would think I would remember these things because, like, that's a big part of the story, but no. No, I didn't remember, and I was sitting there like... Shit. But I would like to point out that my little angel baby unicorn Hagrid is innocent of everything, so... <laughs> Still my favorite. I am so happy that stupid Lockhart has no memory now because I hate him. He is so annoying. And I'm really hoping he doesn't come back in any of the other books, but I feel like he probably will. Just, ugh, I'm so happy that he's gone and stupid now. The Basilic is now dead. I don't know why I didn't figure out that like Harry could talk to snakes and like that would mean that there was a snake in the chamber because obviously, you know, no one else can hear the voice but Harry because he can talk to snakes. Duh. I'm like not very smart with this series for some reason. Usually I'm able to like call everything, but this one, I don't know why. I'm like, oh, duh. Tom Riddle is now gone. Which is exciting, you know, because nobody likes Lord Voldemort. Bye, Lord Voldemort. I, I am so happy Ginny's okay because she's so cute. I love her and I hope that everything is okay with her. I hope she doesn't get in trouble or anything because like, it's not her fault. It's Lord Voldemort's fault. I'm officially done. And I, I want to start the third book now, but it's like getting dark out, so I can't film my reactions. Like, I mean, I can, but the lighting would be gross. So I'm going to start it tomorrow. But it was so good. And like, huh, huh. I'm still on the Harry Potter bandwagon, 100%. Thank you for joining me on round two of J Reacts to Harry Potter. And I will see you in my next video and my next J Reacts to Harry Potter, number three. Goodbye.